Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another Shavizar 3.1.3 video. Today we are taking a look at Assetta Corsa Evo. Uh, the game is recently released, maybe one week ago. First thing first, I do recommend closing the MSI Afterburner because that will mess up with your hood fix. So the game is very unoptimized. Like as you can see, I'm getting around only 50 FPS or so. Right now I'm playing it on 1080p with uh, graphics preset set on 1080p medium low like a mixture of uh, medium and uh, low so i will be using the optiscaler 0.77 preview one which also includes the new hood option which i will show you how to set up everything once i install the mod so yeah let's start this video without any delay now Alright, so after quitting the game, we will need this file. Now this is the installer version, not the automated slash the paste and play version that is in the last video. I showed that. So today we will have a little bit uh, steps to do before just uh, like playing the game. So after extracting the mod, we will find this uh, files. So we're going to copy this, go to the installation directory of the game, which is here for me, where the asset of course, is located. I'm going to paste the mod here. It will ask you to replace maybe one to two files, the FSR files and the NVGX maybe. So after pasting, uh, we will need to find this OptiScaler setup dot bat. Gonna select it, right click and click on done as administrator. Now a CMD window will open up. Uh, I have showed everything in the previous video. So if you don't know, you can watch this video on the i button or just follow me along with this video. So here is the list of like the method which you can install via the OptiScaler. So I'm going to select the DXGI, which is universal and should work on all GPU. So first select the DXGI, press one and press enter. After that, it will ask what kind of GPU you have, AMD, Intel or Nvidia. Like one is for AMD, Intel, two is for Nvidia. I have an RTX 2060, so I'm going to select two, press enter. The process will show now that the mod has been installed completely. I mean, installed successfully so press any key to close the installer now i will dive back into the game and show you how you can activate the new optiscalar hood along with uh, how much frames you're getting how you can switch up scalars and everything so yeah let's dive into the game now looking for cheap pc games then look no further get black myth wukong at 199 rupees or 2.3 us dollar and other games are on your screen pause the video come to discord and send message to the cheap games buying channel all right uh, i'm back inside game again let me switch the camera okay now you can still see i am using the ms after burner because i want to show you guys like how it messes up with the hood and how you can disable and like uh, how you can activate the optics class ui so right now fps is still around the same 40 50 so i'm gonna pause the game go to setting in order to activate the frame generation so now you need to select the dlss and you should be able to use it uh, even on non rtx and amd gpu so select the upscaling mode, set turn on DLSS, select the preset, select anything DLSS quality balance performance. I'm going to select quality, then click on apply. It will take few seconds to apply the DLSS presets and everything. All right. Now it's applied. Go back to the game again and uh, now press INS slash the insert key and it will bring <laughs> Wait, my controller is drifting. Uh, sorry, don't mind it. So wait, hold on controller, bro. Uh, okay now i'm going to activate the frame generation along with the hood fix and i'm gonna close this window now you can see frames are being generated maybe a little bit uh, lower because uh, i am like recording it with the streamlabs which takes very much gpu uses without recording it was around like 110 fps or so uh, but yeah anyway uh, you can now see that uh, there is no hood flicker but uh, still there will be occasionally flicker here and there if you play with the ms afterburner so you can also check the debug view that it is working correctly wait the mouse is not working again all right i have activated the debug view so in the debug view as i tell people uh, normally that uh, you can see that the gameplay with the hood will be on the right bottom corner and the center bottom will be without the hood you can still see there are some like flicker in this speedometer so i will disable the ms afterburner overlay and activate the optis overlay so in order to use that uh, open up the opti menu again and come down here you will see fps overlay so click on that and i'm gonna 
turn it on the right corner because left corner is already crowded with a speedometer and everything games like elements then from this overlay type i will select this full and in order to increase this size uh, we will come down here and select this 1.0 and set it to maybe 1.5 or something it will also increase the opti cy so be careful about that now i'm gonna close it uh wait let me close the debug view also so i'm gonna close it and play the game now you can see uh it's like uh, totally stable the speedometer is also stable but still the car ghosting issue behind the car you can see that it's still there like the forza horizon 5 most of the racing games do face this kind of issue while using the fsr 3 mode so to fix that you will need to play this game on first person mode uh, and by this mode you will be able to fix the issue but yeah anyway it is what it is now uh, the video ends really here now if this helps you you can consider subscribing to the channel if you are facing any kind of issue uh, comment down below and uh, yeah join discord for cheap games pc hardware and everything i'll see you guys in the next one so until then cheers all right the fps is now climbing a little bit like around 90 to 100 uh, yeah without recording i was getting around 110 i'll let us some screenshot on your screen maybe bye